What's up guys, JV2017 here, and today I am continuing my Fallout 4 pre-release content. We are only 24 hours away from the release, and I think I speak for a lot of us when I say I doubt I'll be getting very much sleep tonight, I'm just that excited. And just a quick reminder guys, this is your number one hub for Fallout 4 content here on YouTube, so make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and stay tuned on my channel now and when the game comes out, tomorrow. Another quick reminder, I will be live streaming Fallout 4 at 11 p.m. Central Time tomorrow, November 9th, right here on my YouTube channel. And I may start an hour or so earlier with some Fallout 3, so if you're waiting to play the game or unable to grab it on launch, feel free to come and hang out. Also, if you need to convert to a different time zone where you live, check the description below. And if you can't make it, the stream will be automatically uploaded to my channel, so don't worry about that. Today's video is sort of a follow-up from yesterday's because I loved how so many of you were sharing your builds in the comments. It was really awesome. And I thought it would be cool to make a character build guide for you all today. And basically, this consists of me rapid firing some basic template ideas for you all to build off of for your own characters. So I won't be going super in depth. That's not really the purpose of this video. This is very broad, very, you know, on the surface where you want to start with, you know, a certain specific kind of build. And I'll leave my personal notes in the description below because there are gonna be so many builds that I'm gonna be mentioning, so let's get started. Before we get into those templates, let's talk about the character build in general. And this is my definition of what a build is about. It's about what's most important for your character and what you want to accomplish in that specific playthrough. So you could say, I want to excel in a certain kind of combat, there are builds for that. You know, if you want to create massive settlements, be able to sneak around, be able to talk your way out of bad situations. I mean, the list goes on for build ideas that are centered on what's most important for your character in that playthrough. And when I'm presenting my builds, keep in mind that I don't want to be a jack of all trades, master of none kind of character. That's always been really bland to me. I like to go to the extreme. I like to be a master in a few things and really flesh out a few things. It's possible to be a jack of all trades character, but I just find it to be pretty boring. So as we get into these builds, you can obviously divide these into combat and non-combat focused builds. There are probably a million other ways to divide these, but that's what I'm gonna go with. So we're gonna start with our combat builds. Combat builds have a direct effect on the combat. That seems pretty self-explanatory. And so the focus is really on strength, perception, agility, and luck special stat categories. And that's for the underlying advantages and the perks. So the combat purpose of strength is obviously melee damage. If you put points in strength, you get more melee damage. And for perception, it's that accuracy in VATS. So that's essential for VATS-based characters. In agility, it's AP points in VATS. Again, very essential for VATS characters and other kind of characters. And also, luck is all about the crit meter. And criticals seem very, very strong in this game. So that's another way you could approach it with your combat build. And within the combat build, I'm gonna divide it again into melee and ranged characters. So starting with melee, your focus is gonna be on strength, agility, and luck. I left perception out of there because I don't think VAT's accuracy is gonna be super important when you're hitting enemies up close. So obviously the builds that we can think about with melee, the templates are unarmed, melee, which is just general weapon, you know, melee weapons, and sneak builds within melee. So. Obviously, you guys are probably thinking, where's endurance? Endurance goes into my non-combat because it indirectly affects combat by increasing your health. So endurance is probably necessary for survivability. So keep that in mind when you're making your melee builds. All of these templates should start with six to seven strength, and that's personal opinion, but there are ways to increase these special you know, stat categories way more than there were before, especially with the training. And so in my opinion, you shouldn't start at the absolute maximum. There's too many opportunities to increase it. And you'll just be gimping yourself in a more important category like intelligence, which will level you up faster, which is super important for getting a lot of perks. So keep in mind, all of these builds that I'm about to mention start with six to seven strength, depending on your preference. So first is unarmed. And the premier perk is iron fist. That's just the perk you want to take at strength one. It's going to increase that unarmed damage for your unarmed character. And also keep in mind, unarmed can be paired with sneak and ninja, which is in the agility category. So if you wanna be like a sneaky unarmed assassin, that's where you would go with that. For a general melee character, you're gonna to wanna to take big leagues, which is the strength two. That's your premier perk. It's very easy to get to. 
And of course, with any melee weapon, you can pair that with sneak and ninja, just like with unarmed. That should be very, very powerful. For a sneak-based melee character, obviously, like I said, ninja is your premier perk. That's what you want to go for. Um, so you're going to want to dump points into agility very early for that, in addition to your strength. And so that's a large investment, so you have to really think about that, but it sounds very powerful. And of course, with sneak, you could pair it with either unarmed or melee, whatever your preference. If you really wanted to focus all your attention on maxing out strength, you could start at strength eight and then go for the pain train. That's your premier perk at strength 10. It's really powerful, allows you to knock over people and do other things while you're in power armor. And that will be useful in melee because you'll be in close range. So I think this is useful for any form of melee combat. If you wanted to go pure agility, but still have that six to seven strength, you could go for the blitz perk, which actually increases melee range in vats it sounds very very powerful there's a compelling argument for this i believe so blitz is the premier perk for a pure agility kind of melee build and that really helps with any form of melee combat so we'll have to see if that's super viable or not if you wanted to go for the luck based melee build of course you would stay with your six to seven strength for the damage but you would go for the four leaf clover that would be your premier perk which of course gives you a chance of refilling your entire critical hit meter in vats on any hit so that's very powerful and i think luck is really good for any form of melee combat if you get criticals in melee that means you get out of combat quicker so it should be very powerful now let's talk about ranged builds and ranged builds have a ton of variety they mostly focus on perception agility and luck those are the categories that will help you the most and I'm going to go through a lot here, but there are a lot more. So keep that in mind. This is not everything you can possibly do. So you have your long ranged builds, your short ranged builds, your heavy gunner, which is an interesting one. Energy weapons, you can specialize in that. Explosives, you can do that as well. And then, of course, sneak is also a very viable build for ranged weapons. For long range builds, you probably want to start at five or six perception. And that's because the bobblehead for perception is very early in the game. So you don't need to put it higher than you would need to. So the premier perks in long range are obviously going to be rifleman and sniper. And of course, you guys can talk about sniper builds. This is exactly what your sniper build would start out looking like. And of course, sniper and rifleman can be paired with sneak. So of course, Ninja is a huge factor. If you max that all the way out and you're gonna be sneaking, you can make a sneak sniper build, very, very powerful build very easily. For a short range combat build, agility is probably more important. You wanna start at six. And the reason is premier perks and agility are gunslinger and commando, so that's pistols and automatic rifles. And so you can pair this with sneak, of course, and ninja. But the reason you want to take this over perception is because accuracy should be less of an issue since you're more close ranged. For a heavy gunner build, I would start at five strength and strength comes out of nowhere. And that's where heavy gunner actually is. So the premier perk is heavy gunner, like I just said. And you can really pair this with anything that will increase, you know, your viability in combat, whether that be perception, agility, or luck. This is a crazy kind of build, and it's something I definitely want to make a video on. For an energy weapons build, you know, your laser, your pulse, your plasma weapons, you want to start at six intelligence. And it's like intelligence that comes out of nowhere. That's for the premier perk science. And that gives you certain kind of mods for your weapons. There's no perk that directly increases energy weapon damage, unfortunately. But this is a perk that you would want to go for, for all that modding, crafting kind of variety there. And of course, you can pair this with anything. Anything that will increase your viability with any kind of gun will help you with energy weapons. For an explosives-based perk, you want to start at 5 Perception. That will immediately get you the premier perk of Demolition Expert, which just increases your explosives damage. This is really a wacky kind of template, so you can really pair it with anything. For this sneak range build, it gets really interesting here. You can start at seven agility, and that will get you to the premier perk of ninja immediately. And ninja can be really paired with anything. It's really awesome. Also, Mr. Sandman, one of the ranks there, gives you increased silence weapon damage. So you can go a silence weapon ninja type character, and that sounds very, very good. You know, you could be like a James Bond with that. And then you could pair that with perception with night person, which will give you night vision when you're sneaking around. I don't know how good that's going to be, but it's just another thought with this template. If you wanted to go all in with perception, I'd probably start at eight or maybe seven perception since you have that bobblehead. And the premier perk would be concentrated fire all the way down at 10 perception. You can pair that with either agility or luck pretty effectively, but this is if you want to go all out for perception. If you wanted to go pure agility with your range character, you could start at eight agility and then go for the premier perk of gun foo. 
and that's obviously very powerful if you want to go that route and it can be paired with you know perception for increased accuracy in bats or luck for those criticals finally if you wanted to specialize in luck for your ranged character you would start seven luck i think the premier perk here is four leaf clover it's not ricochet because that's just kind of random and wacky so four leaf clover will give you that you know good chance of getting your entire critical meter filled in vats so that should be pretty good you can really pair it with anything that helps you with ranged builds let's move on to our non-combat builds and when i say non-combat i'm talking about things that give you an indirect effect into combat so they're not directly affecting it for example endurance doesn't directly affect combat but it gives you survivability so it definitely plays into that factor so these will focus on endurance charisma and intelligence so obviously the non-combat purposes of endurance are to provide utility and survivability through health you know for charisma that's persuasion and dialogue and barter that's you know helpful for other reasons besides combat and then intelligence is all about increasing your experience i decided not to do every single template i could think of because there are a billion so i just picked a few for each one and you can think of a billion combat builds but i decided to go with a survival build a cannibal template companions settlements chemist and robotics expert for a survival build it's all about maxing out your endurance so i would start at endurance eight and then of course the premier perk would be solar powered at endurance 10 and that's super powerful you get these bonuses to endurance and strength and then you have radiation and health regeneration automatically so this will be very powerful and you could possibly pair this with perception to get night person which is even more bonuses you know to perception and intelligence there's just a lot of options for a survival build but it's all about maxing out that endurance next is a cannibal build this is just a fun build i would say start at six endurance and then work your way up to cannibal at eight and the premier perk here is obviously cannibal you'll be eating people it's just a fun wacky kind of build like i said can really be paired with anything if you wanted to go with a companion based build i would start at six charisma and work your way up to the premier perk of inspirational at eight charisma and you could actually pair this with attack dog i think it sounds like this would kind of stack with dog meat maybe it doesn't because maybe that's too uh you know overpowered i'm not really sure maybe someone knows that has the game for a settlement based build i would start at six charisma and that would immediately get you local leader which is a premier perk here it gives you a lot of options to really pimp out your settlements if you will and you compare this with intelligence because there are a lot of things in there that allow you to craft more within your settlement like robotics expert gun nut and science you could do a chemist based build and start at intelligence six and that will immediately get you chemist which is a premier parker obviously this can be paired with anything this is just if you want to really maximize the effects of chemistry and you know certain drugs within the game that you can make for robotics expert i would start at intelligence six once again and then work your way up to robotics expert of course it's the same name of the perk and i believe you can pair this with charisma because there's some kind of mechanic of being able to control robots and you can control other things in the charisma tree so you can control everything there are a lot of possibilities there if you wanted to go all out and dump everything into charisma i would start at charisma 8 and then get the premier perk at charisma 10 of intimidation be able to control literally any human that you see which sounds super super powerful and you can really pair this with anything it's really up to you what you want to do if you have a high charisma character finally if you want to go all out in intelligence for your non-combat character i would start at eight intelligence and then the premier perk would be nerd rage which is very interesting you get increased damage resistance and time slows down when you uh, when you're in low health which is uh, interesting we'll have to see how good that is how viable that actually is i'm not a big fan of things that only activate when you're a certain amount of health because it you know limits when you can use them but it should be really powerful when it does activate that is the end of my rapid fire templates again all of that is in the description i don't want you guys to just be like where is all of this it's going by too fast um, so everything's in the description below i want to know what are your plans for builds do you have a certain template in mind maybe you're going to use one of mine that i've suggested today maybe you want to suggest another template for other people to use share all of that below all right guys today i shared a bunch of character build guide templates for you to use in fallout 4 and next time we will cover more fallout 4 information here on my channel so stay tuned for one last pre-release content video before the game comes out tomorrow and remember that this is your number one hub for all fallout 4 content on youtube again i will be live streaming at 11 p.m central time tomorrow 
right when the game unlocks digitally. So if you guys are waiting for the game, I'm gonna be streaming before a little Fallout 3, like I said, so check the description below for time zone conversions and come and hang out if you guys have time. If you learned something new from this video, remember to hit that like button, I'd really appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already for more Fallout 4 content starting tomorrow. I'm really excited, I hope you guys are as well. Talk to you next time, peace.